I think we're back on. Um, let me see if I can get any. It's it's still. All right. It says we are live. Can you can you see us? Okay. I don't know how I don't know how far we got, but I, I think maybe we'll just start. Hello, everyone. I don't know what's happening technologically here. But I, I think maybe we'll just go back to the song that we ended with and pick up there. It's a song called I, I Know Where I'm Going. I made a couple of mistakes in the preceding song, and it may well be that the uh, uh, the video just didn't want to hear us making those mistakes. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll go to the song called I Know Where I'm Going. Let's see how that works. <laughs> went through and uh, we started out talking about love songs and the first one was kind of a weird love song and the second two I think were genuine love songs one of them kind of sad one and the other one a, a fairly happy one I think as love songs go and this is a love song that I actually wrote it's a love song for uh, little towns uh, and mainly for little towns that are kind of drying up and going away. Uh, it's a song called The Real Deep River Blues. It's a kind of a, a ripoff because there is a, another song called The Deep River Blues. And uh, it inspired me to write this song because I felt like if there was a song called Deep River Blues, that we really ought to have a song about Deep River and Powell Sheep County. And uh, so that's what this song is about. There's a little town on the county line about three miles past the road closed sign nestled in the middle of the corn and the beans and the hay. They had a little river no more than a creek and the doggone thing but never was very deep but they called that town Deep River anyway. 
Now they used to have a real good hardware store. They had locally owned double group four. They had everything that you'd ever want to buy. The man in the back could fix anything that would buzz or whirl or whistle or ring. And the cabin next door had 16 kinds of pie. There was a big old church up on the hill. There was three kinds of beer at the bar and grill, and the grass on the softball field was always green. There were flowers planted all along the road, and the houses lawns were always mowed. It was the prettiest little old town you'd ever seen. Well, let it rain, let it sleep. Cracks in the sidewalk, holes in the street, and that's the real deep river blues. Let the rain come on down and we're the blues and run a little down and that's a real deep river blues. Now back in the 80s, things went south. There were two bad years, a real hard drought, and a man from Texas bought all the little farms around. The high school grads started moving away to places they could get more pay like West Des Moines or some other big ass town. Now the grocery store was the first to go, and the hardware closed its door, and Joe at the tavern said he'd run plum out of luck. The Walmart at the county seat set prices so low they couldn't compete, and Eva River was blown away like an old corn chunk. Now let, let it rain, rain, let it sleep, cracks in the sidewalk, holes in the street, and that's the real deep river blues. Let the rain come on down, we're gonna lose another little town, and that's the real deep river blues. Now all these little towns are dying away like weeds in a pavement on a dry hot day, no matter how they try to fight the feet. A few old folks, a couple of dogs, lots all around that are feeding hogs, and for sale on the buildings all along Main Street. Well, I had a dream that I'll relate. I was at the mall on the interstate on the biggest damn caterpillar dozer this side of hell. And I was wrecking everything. Target, Menards, and Burger King, Home Depot, Hooters, Perkins, and Taco Bell. And then I awoke and put my feet on the ground. I saw the destruction was the other way around. These little towns got nothing left to lose. All over this country it's going on like tree limbs breaking in a bad ice storm. All that they got is a blue. Now run it green, let it sleep. Cracks in the sidewalk, holes in the street, and that's the real deep river blues. Let the rain come on down, we're gonna lose another little town, and that's the real deep river blues. And when we're singing the this was a two-minute string band. I turned to Bob Cadmus and I say, finish it off for me, Bob. But Bob's not here, so I got to do it myself. Well, I got those deep river blues. Deep river blues. <laughs>
I got a man who's long and tall, moves his body like a cannonball. May the world, my honey, may the world. One night it was drizzling rain in my heart I felt a pain fear the world. Call my name and I'll be gone. May the world, my honey, may the If I had wings like Noah's dove, I'd fly up the river to the man I love. Baby, will my honey, baby. Let's see, maybe some, maybe we've got some comments here. Maybe some people can hear us. <laughs> yeah, you're Is back. It? Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, Eric. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Alicia. Uh, okay. So I hope we didn't lose out too much of the first part. I don't want to necessarily do it again. So we'll just move right along. We're going to do uh, Golden Iowa. Betty's song, Golden Iowa. <laughs> if you hear that sound, it's our dog coming down the steps. We're uh, we're in our basement. I didn't really welcome you to our basement, but uh, that's where we are. Let's see. I need to. This is indeed. <laughs> Summer corn straight in a 
obedient rose, prairie grass waving like its cousin ocean, kin to the wind when it blows. Green, green, I let me live here in your heartland, ever changing I want. Your earth is warm under my hand. Blue sky arching over the white snow of winter. Brown fields are resting till warmth comes again to Iowa, palette of deep changing color. Iowa, beautiful land. And a changing Iowa, let me live here in your heart. early summer in Iowa. <laughs> With everything else that's going on. <laughs> and here's one of Sandy's songs. So now we're away from summer and green <laughs> and we're, if you can remember this, waiting for the snow to fall. Summer's gone, leaves are on the ground, trees look like bones against the sky, the woods all split, hay's in the barn, all stacked up high and dry, and I'm waiting for the snow. Fall. Wait for the snow to fall. Cold, cold gray clouds don't bother me at all. I'm just waiting for the snow to fall. Wasn't long ago. December rolled around, I'd shake my fist at the sky, ground would get hard, and the grass would turn brown, I'd just want to sit down and cry, I'd plow and I'd plant from the first summer day. Till the combines ate up the corn. I'd take off my shirt and I'd stand in the sun till my skin started to fry. Now I'm waiting for the snow to fall. Waiting for the snow to fall, the cold gray clouds. 
clouds don't bother me at all. I'm waiting for the snow to fall. When these are all shot, and my tractor won't start, my old pickup truck's running hot. But the hard work's all done, and there's love in my home. I don't need any more than I've got. Now I'm waiting for the snow to fall. I'm waiting for the snow to fall. And cold gray clouds don't bother me at all. I'm waiting for the snow to fall. Now I'm waiting for the snow to fall. Waiting for the snow to fall. And cold gray clouds don't bother me at all. I'm just waiting, waiting for the snow to fall. Thank you. How are we doing? Uh, doing right. This is a song called Nothing But Sky, and this song is for Ed Purcell. I plagiarized part of this song. There was a, a an installation, an art installation uh, from the college in a house in town called Seed House. And it was grand. It was grand. It had uh, prairie plants and, and seed pods and pictures. It was lovely. And the, the people who had created the, the, the setting had asked people to write on little stick-it notes what they loved most about Iowa. And people wrote, friendly people, clean air, good water. And somebody had written in little, little letters, you can tilt your head back and see nothing but sky. So thank you to whoever wrote that. And that's the name of the song. <laughs> Lights of the city are shimmering gold. Its buildings rise handsome and high. But here on the prairie, the story is told. You can tilt your head back and see nothing but sky. There's a blanket of Lazy white pillows float by. The sun in the west is a melting red ball. When you tilt your head back and see nothing but sky. The rugged gray mountains bring solace to some. Their peaks fill the heart and the eye. But the core of the country is where people come to tilt their heads back and see nothing but sky. The moon spends a night with her children, the stars. The patient face seems to ask why. Folks on this planet still bother with wars. 
When we can tilt our heads back and see nothing that's gone. It's a song by Guy Clark. Uh, Betty thinks it's a sad song. John Bob Garner said one time, this is the saddest song I've ever heard in my life. And John Bob Garner's heard a lot of songs, so. <laughs> anyway, I don't think it's that sad. It's I think it's a, kind of an affirmation of a friendship and a life led. And it's a love song. It's a love song, and uh, Guy Clark said he wrote this about his, his grandmother's boyfriend. <laughs> I'd sing the Red River Valley, eat sit in the kitchen and cry, run his fingers through 70 years of living, wondering, Lord, have all the wells I dug gone dry. We were friends, me and this old man. We were desperados waiting for a train. Desperados waiting for a train. He was a drifter and a driller of oil wells man of the world taught me how to drive a car when he was too drunk to then he'd wink and give me money for the girls our lives were like some old western movie we were desperados waiting for a train we were desperados waiting for from the day that I could walk, he'd take me with him to a bar called the Green Frog Cafe. There were old men in beer, guts and dominoes, lying about their lives as they played. I was just a kid. They all call me sidekick. We were desperados waiting for a train. We were desperados waiting for a train. One day I looked around, he was pushing 80. He had brown tobacco stains all down his chin. Well, if he was one of the heroes of this country, then why 
why is he all dressed up like them old men? Drinking beer, playing moon in 42. Like desperados waiting for a train. Like desperados waiting for a train. Well, the day before he died, I went to see him. I was grown and he was almost gone. Oh, he sat right down and dreamed us up a kitchen. And sang another verse of that old song. Look out, Jack. That son of a bitch is coming. We're desperados waiting for a train. We were desperados waiting for a train. Desperados waiting for a train. From this family, they say. You are going to miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are taking in the sunshine that will brighten my path for a while. Cry. <laughs> okay, that guy could write songs, Guy Clark. We got two more. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. The words to this song were written by Yeats. It's called the Song of Wandering Angus. So the words are good. And this one is in A, right? And we don't do any breaks. You're off. I went out to the hazel room. Because a fire was in my head And cut and peeled a hazel wand And hooked a berry to a thread And when white moths were on the wing And moth-like stars were glittering out I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout and then I placed it on the floor and went to blow the fire aflame but something rustled on the floor and someone called me by my name it had become a glimmering girl with apple blossoms in her hair who called me by my name and ran and vanished through the brightening air. Though I am old with wandering through hollow lands and hilly lands, I will find out where she has gone and kiss her lips and take 
her hands and walk among long dappled grass and pluck till time 